what's up everyone this is edwina coming to you from no line no shine for our would normally be tuesday's queen of the trenches episode for our interview so making sure we're gonna get going live here and then we will have our guests li log in and we'll get this interview started hey everyone thanks for joining us we're just getting the interview ready to go here Coming to you live from No Line No Shine for our Queens of the Trenches segment. Super excited to have you, so we will be waiting for our guest and we'll get this interview started. Hey everyone, this is Edwina, just waiting for our guest to join and then we will get everything started for this interview. So normally we will do this on Tuesdays, but this is our Queens of the Trenches segment that we will be doing for No Line, No Shine. Super excited to have our guest here. And just waiting for our guests to log in here as we are going live for our Queens of the Trenches segment as part of No Line No Shine. So as soon as she gets on live here, I will get this started. Looking forward to a good interview though. And just getting ready to do our Queens of the Trenches Tuesdays segment, which it's a Wednesday, but normally will be on Tuesdays, part of No Line No Shine, Queens of the Trenches. And just waiting to get our guest speaker here all set up. All right, here we go. All right, so we have our guest here, and let's see if she will send me. There we go. We got a request coming through. Let's get her on. Let's get this interview started for Queens of the Trenches Tuesdays, even though it's Wednesday. We understand that. There she is. Hey. Hi. All right, so without further ado, for a gal that almost needs no introduction because her IG handle says it herself, Barbie the Barbarian. Thank you so much. Oh, <laughs> Don't cringe you when you say it out loud. <laughs> own it. Own it, girl. Own it. Yeah, I know. I know. It's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us today. I'm super excited to Thank have you. Thank you for here. having me. I know you are at practice as well. You guys just wrapped up. Yeah. Yeah. Here, hold on. There. Oh, nice. Oh, you guys are still in practice practice. Yeah, okay. we're still in practice. Yeah, you... I'm missing defensive practice because of you right now. Gosh. Well, I, I apologize. I'm sorry. It's okay. We have like three this week. They'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. So first and foremost, tell us what team you play for. Um, I play for the Las Vegas Silver Stars. I am a starting defensive tackle and starting offensive guard. Awesome. And how long have you been playing now? Uh, this is my second season. It would have been my third, um, but last year, obviously, COVID. So. Gotcha. Gotcha. And so, and you've always played with your Vegas teams as well? I've, I've only played with the Las Vegas Silver Stars, yeah. Awesome. So, since they're, um, they were independent for about six games late 2018, and then uh, as soon as they joined the WNFC, in the WNFC's inaugural season, um, I've been a part of it. Awesome. I joined, like, two weeks before the first game. Oh, wow. So, like, you really, like, yeah. you... I didn't know about it. As soon as I knew about it, I came. I found out on a Tuesday, and I was there at practice on Thursday, and I've been at every practice since. That is so awesome, though. <laughs> So how was your first game, like, since you started 
that soon and just decided to hit the my first my it's funny my first game was really heartbreaking actually um we had a lot of changes uh happen with the roster in between my start and the first game so until the for about three days prior to the day of i thought i was starting like in super new because i'm I'm strong, so they were like, "We'll just, you know, we'll put you, we'll put you in the trenches." Yeah. And then the day of, they changed me out, and I wasn't starting, oh. and I only played like two minutes, and I was so sad. I was pissed because oh. I don't hide my emotions <laughs> from my face at all. And I decided right then and there that I would do whatever I had to do to never be on that sideline again. And now I'm starting both ways, and I'm exhausted, but it's fine because <laughs> I got what I asked for it. So. All right, all right. So I'd rather like, be doing that than, than sitting on the side. Yeah, you're like, this is now a lifestyle. This is part of my identity. This is who I am, and I want 100%, to be hundred percent, yeah. That is awesome. Damn, yeah. that is quite I'd rather like, be tired than bored. So. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. That's that's dope, though. I don't know if I'd have the balls to do that. I'd be like, can I ease my way in? But good no. for you. Oh, no, I'm not I'm not an easier way into anything, anything. That <laughs> like, is awesome. <laughs> there's, there's nothing subtle about me. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Did you play sports in high school and college? Um, in high school and college, I threw on track and field. So I did shot put, discus, uh, hammer, indoor weight, and javelin. Wow. Very cool. And then um, in high school, I also did uh, water polo. Okay. And then for a little bit, I did um, what's it called? Roller derby. But then nice. my hit started up so, yeah. Love it. Love it. So maybe yeah. a little so, bit of that aggression. So all of, all of these stereotypical aggressive things that women can do, I've at least tried it. <laughs> I love it. I except love for it. except for rugby. I, I got asked to play rugby a lot, but I just, I never did. And then now I'm in football. So it's that fine. makes sense. Well, I mean, if you ever do, you can take your form tackling from football and bring it over to rugby. So. Well, I mean, we do. We had, with our particular program we adopt rugby tackling because it's just um it's safer yeah. to do it that way it's easier on the head they they tackle to the ground without any pads so yep. obviously they're doing it in a safe way so that's what we try to adapt absolutely that's so cool so then i have a question for you what does queens mm -hmm. of the trenches mean to you as a player um it means that I, I own that trench. I dug that trench. I stay in that trench. I'm there because I want to eat. I want mine and I want yours too. Like that's, I, I, we're just, we're, we're bullies when we need to be like some of us, you like, you know, some of us biggies, like we're like the most sensitive people on the face of the planet, but yeah. not when it comes to the gridiron. Like we're in there and we're literally in your face. Like if you're on the O line, the D line's right there. If you're on the D line, the O line's right there yeah. and you got to get, real comfortable and you have to own it and you have to trust yourself to do your job. You have to trust your linemen to do their jobs. And so that that's what it means. It means just, just owning it in every aggressive aspect. Like you, you have to embody it all the time, pretty much. Yeah. That's awesome. I also want that on a shirt where it says I'm here like, I want to own it. I'm here to eat mine, and I'm here to eat yours. I'm like, that needs to be on a shirt. Yeah, that look, needs to be, like, if, if no lie, I know no lie, no shine, make some shirts. They can give me a shirt. They can put that on it. I'll rock it. That's fine. And right now, I'm wearing our Silver Star shirt. I love the shirt. It says, uh, real women play football. Love it. Love yeah. it. Do you guys actually sell swag for your fans? We do. Um, we don't. The real women play football is only on the player shirts to make them distinctive. But we sell um, our shirts with our new logo on them we uh changed it before the season started very awesome I love this is our new sharper more modern logo nice that's so cool and so you guys have a game coming up on saturday who are you guys playing on yes saturday? we do yes we are going to la and we're playing the bobcats awesome and then you know besides the win what are you really looking forward to in this game I am looking forward to eating a couple more sack lunches. Okay. I've only, I, I got two in uh, our first game this season. I got, and then I think I've only gotten one each. So my goal is five. Nice. So That's awesome. every, every, every game I increase the numbers. So first game I got like eight tackles. So right now my goal is, is five sacks, 10 tackles. So I know I'm putting a target on my back, but it's been there. So it's fine. No, I think that's good. You know, you, you have embodied the, the goal that you have, you know, you see that yeah. you know, you're working towards it, you know, and I think that's really awesome. As far as, you know, like the camaraderie and your team, what's the biggest thing that you look forward to, not just on game day, but also in practices? Um, like I said, we really just trust each other. We, um, 
we always say like it's a team sport but we all each have a job to do and if you don't do your job it could mess up someone else doing their job so we have to trust that everyone's doing their job so um we're not just a team that comes together uh at practices or at games like genuine friends like it's not just football family, like it's family at this point. So anytime we're able to be around each other, especially after the year that we've had, we don't take for granted. Like I said, I don't, I don't miss a practice. So um, we're just out here and we're grinded and you can really see like the dedication that, you know, a lot of the women on this team have, um, especially the ones that started in our first season, you know, two years ago. Um, it was, you know, 90% rookies oh, wow. and a lot of us didn't and granted we have a lot of rookies now but there there's a lot of talent there's stupid crazy potential on this team right now it's insane and like we're we're good but we're not even close to what we could be like it's especially if we if we stay together it's we're gonna be unstoppable and lately look people have been calling counting us out and we know that we see the articles, we see the posts, we can read, we hear what you're saying, and we're still shutting it down. We put up 24 points against the Falcons. And even though we lost, who else can say that they've done that? Yeah, not many. Exactly. Literally not many. I think maybe one and they're, you know, the champions. So we're not here to mess around. It's a game, but we're not here to play. So we've we're working and we know that we are underestimated and keep underestimating us like that that fuels us at this point um i'd rather people not know what to expect and every time like we're watching film and someone's commentating they're like whoa how did what it like our coaching staff coach lee's brilliant we have uh carrie the owner she coached us last year and she's helping coach too we have like three four now uh decade veterans oh. on our team that are still playing so they're not only inputting their wisdom but they're out there on the gridiron doing it like their first day well not their first day maybe like their third year like yeah. they're still good is what <laughs> yeah. i'm saying so you know they can they can talk but we walk and we run and we run them over nice. so it's fine i love it i love the confidence and I love hearing how much love you have to be. You. How could you not be confident yep. in a contact sport? True. I'm a big girl and I have to do like big moves. So yep. how am I going to be starting, starting guard and starting tackle and be timid? Yep. It doesn't make sense. Like I'm starting for a reason and that's nothing against anyone else that plays, but like you put in the work, you get where you want to be. Like I said, I'm not going on that sideline. I'm just not. So you, you work for it and you have, you have to be confident. And I'm, this is probably the most confident thing I am. I mean, <laughs> like you got, you got mom guilt, like crazy. You're working jobs. You yeah. got like friendships and relationships and you're like, I don't know what I'm doing. What is life? And then you put on pads and you're like, I'm a chick. So yeah, like, yeah. that's just how it has to be. Yeah. It's just it. how it has to be. And it may be a persona. It may be you know, whatever, but that's fine. It, it, it is, it's there when it counts. I love it. Well, and I'm looking at all the comments that are coming through. I see Antonia saying that's my teammate. I see. Yeah. Antonia, Antonia, she's on her team, but her and her sister drew are based in California. Okay. So yeah, we really appreciate them. They come out to uh, the weekend practices and then they come out for the games. That's awesome. See, and that's yeah. what I love hearing. It's that it's the passion. It's not just, okay, mm -hmm. I'm here to play. Oh, yeah, and, if you, know, you want it, you make it happen. Absolutely. They're, and they're not even the only ones that come from California. We have another teammate that named Kylie that comes from California. And like like, like I said, if, if you want it, you get it. And what's stopping you? Nothing. Love it. I love it. Like, we'll, we'll sleep on our couches, we'll like, and we come together. <laughs> so it's, if the team was, if, you know, knock on wood god forbid las vegas for some reason couldn't be we wouldn't disband but if las vegas for whatever reason oh lord <laughs> it's ratchets and something could happen um but uh say for some reason we couldn't be in las vegas and we had to be in like barstow mm -hmm. we'd go to barstow yeah we wouldn't have as many practices and <laughs> some of us would be grumpy and we'd carpool like nobody's business but we'd make it happen that's awesome so, that's awesome. I love it. And I think that's what a lot of people don't understand is that it's not just about, you know, the 
when when the clock it hits zero you know it's not just about that it really is a lifestyle it really is a sisterhood it really yeah, is it's a like family. like we say we you know you you play to the whistle and you know we're and the whistle hasn't blown on us being a team like it, it's not going to for a minute it's only we're only going to get better like you i can't explain how much potential everyone here has and we always say like the people and in, myself included like there are people that are starting but that's not permanent yeah like if, if you want to play, you fight for your spot. Granted, I'm going to still fight to keep my spot. Yep. But if you want it, come and get it. Yep. At least try. So I love it. I yeah. love it. You got me all it's, hyped it's, up. Now I'm like, now I want to see how the rest of the season I'm goes. Hype AF all the time about my team. All <laughs> the time. I love it. It's good. That's how it When it comes be. to football, I talk a lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It is what it is. It's a passion. So It is. Know, like, and, and, so you guys have your game coming up on Saturday, and then you yeah. kind of all got to buy with Memorial Day weekend. How yeah. do you feel like the rest of the season is going to go for you guys? Um, I think we'll be successful. Um, I right now we are two and one. I see us ending the season five and one. Okay. Um, and uh, I see probably one more like blowout. To be honest. Um, and, you know, we're all students and we never stop studying. Uh, we have game and we're watching game like crazy. Our coach is, he's been doing this for so long. He's so intelligent um, in the game of football. He has so much knowledge and he is so good at what he does that he's able to say, like, I bet this is going to happen. And it does. Awesome. And we don't know why. Yeah. We, we, we can't question it. He says it. We're like, okay, it doesn't make sense. And then we're like, oh, damn. Like, it he, happened. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, like, we, um, we have a lot, of, a lot of faith in him because he, he has a great track record. Um, and so we, we watch film like crazy and we study. And we, we get better every game, every practice, every day. Uh, you know, we work out outside of practice. We're getting together. Who has this gym membership? And when can you meet up? And let's lift. And, you know, my knee hurts. You know, can we uh, go do some exercises? We have a great partnership with um, a physical therapist out here uh, with ZK Outpatient Rehabilitation. And she she's there with us during the games. She's there with us preseason, postseason, during season. So we're always, like, I what I used to say, especially when it was off season, is I used to say, "What's an off season?" Yep. Just because there's not a game that we can play where we're adding to um, a record, what's an off season? Yep. Especially when COVID happened, we didn't really stop. I think we maybe took like a month off, mm -hmm. but we've been practicing two days a week since like October of 2019. Oh wow. We. Like some of us went on vacations, but then a lot of times when we went on vacations, we still went on vacations yeah. together. So <laughs> we've just been waiting. Like when it came to our first game against Oregon, after we won, I cried. Aww. Granted, I cry all the time, all the time. <laughs> but it was just such a release. There had been such buildup for those of us that had come from the 2019 season and we were practicing with almost like no end in sight. And then you don't know if, you know, the 2021 season is going to happen. And then it does. And it, it was just a, like a weight off your shoulders, kind of regardless of what the outcome was going to be. Obviously glad that we won. But I, I would have felt relieved just to be able to play at that point. Like we were just desperate. Yeah. Like we're always hungry. But at that point, we were desperate. We were starving. Yeah. So it's, you know, it's just been really, it's been really awesome um, to be able to do what we love and have it count now <laughs> yeah no that's awesome i think it's great and i'm watching all the comments roll in here like you got so much love for your team i can't see any comments am i doing something oh, <laughs> no, should no, i be able to see the like comments oh okay i was out. like i have no idea what you're talking yeah. about <laughs> so like you know your team went live i saw them watching yeah. people are saying linemen have no season uh you know someone saying where are your team listen <laughs> i like i say we're big for a reason we got to stay big so yeah. either we're we're eating in the gym or we're eating sandwiches like yeah. but we got like, we, we to <laughs> Nice, nice. It is what it is. So your team is still practicing behind you right now? I was going to say, can we get a little mini sneak? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there they Yeah, are. hold on. Here, here we go. I'll get up. Hold on. Let me switch the camera. All right. Nice. Look at that. Love That's the it. team. Love it. Mm -hmm. 
See, it doesn't get any more real than this. We're actually it doesn't talking to players. You see a practice happening behind a player that you're interviewing, and like this. One yeah, they were like, they were like, "Are you doing the interview right now?" I said, "Yeah, I don't want to miss practice, so I'm just gonna." I just changed my shirt real quick, made sure my hair wasn't a mess, and <laughs> got back to it. Girl, if this ends in five right minutes, now. I'm gonna put my pads back on and go back and practice. <laughs> That is awesome. Well, Barbie, you are a joy to talk to. I'm super pumped for your game on Saturday. I Thank like, you. Where can I watch it? You guys stream it online? WNCfootball.com. We stream all the games live. Awesome. And then if you can't catch it live, uh, you obviously can come to um, L.A. It's uh, I know it's on like Rancho Cienega Boulevard. It's uh, oh, the Rancho Cienega Sports Complex is what I think it's called. Perfect. And then if you can't catch it the day of, you can always go on to Vire Network and uh, catch it the next day uh, sometime in the evening is, is when they try and have it. Awesome. Well, you have been a joy to talk to. You've got me pumped Thank up. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for taking yeah. time out of your practice. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you put your pads and your helmet back on and get right back to it. But thank you thank for you. taking time, and we really appreciate it. No, I love it. Anytime. And seriously, you guys better send me some free shirts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll make sure we get that okay. for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi, Courtney. Hey. <laughs> oh. Courtney, what do you play? Outside linebacker. Let's yeah. Oh, yeah, so she's almost in the trenches. Nice. She's she's behind the trenches. All right. Saved All right. The there we saved go. by the trenches. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag saved by the trenches. Nice. I love it. I love it. All right, girl. I'm gonna let you get back to it. Thank you so much for Thank your time. You. Super appreciate it. Antonio sends her love. She's saying a little, she's giving a little hand. I love you, Tony and Drew. <laughs> so shout out to you and your team and shout out for us getting a little sneak peek at your practice. Shout out Las Vegas Silver Stars. <laughs> awesome. Love it. Love it. All right, girl, go ahead and get back to it. Thank you so much. for. Bye. Your Thank Bye. you. <laughs> All right. That was Barbie the Barbarian. She was, I mean, as you saw, just an absolute joy. Part of the Queens of the Trenches Tuesdays, which we did on Wednesday this week. But still, super excited to have her. If you guys get the chance to watch these games, definitely check them out. I mean, these are amazing athletes that you don't really get a live look like you got a live look tonight. They are at practice. They are still in practice, still in pads. You can see how much this means to these players. This is not just a game. This is a lifestyle for the Queens of the Trenches. So coming to you live from No Line, No Shine, thank you so much for joining me today on Wednesday. Thank you for being here for part of Queens of the Trenches. Thank you, Antonia, for being here for your team. And shout out to every single one of you guys who are watching us live and all the teams. We'll see you next week.